Warming up, here we go. Hide the women and the children. Hank Strange and Walter Keller are in the in building. The That's right. And Walter's got six shooters. Well, I was requested. It was requested, so I yeah. had to grab a couple. Exactly. Jock Carpenter wants to see revolvers. We are doing gun stuff today. Gun stuff tonight. And, uh, you know, uh, of course, we are live in the Big Daddy Gun Studios. Can't mm. forget that. Yep. In, uh, I was going to say sunny, but it's rainy, Gainesville, Florida. Oh, it's sunny down in central Florida here. Oh, you Florida. got the sun going? Oh. Yeah, we had a, it was a hot day today, 95 or something like that. Yeah. 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 It was real hot and humid here, but the rain won out. Took care of that. So, yeah, guess what? Listen, man, there's not a lot of stuff going on in the news that I really want to talk about. So I figured let's talk guns. Sure. Let's do that for a change. <laughs> well, the news is the same as it was yesterday, and we had a good time with it yesterday. Yeah, yeah. We said, I think we spoke our piece, mm. and we said what we had to say yesterday, but let's let's just do the gun thing today. So I want to say welcome to everyone out there that's listening, that's joining us. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Of course, share this with your friends on social media, whatever social medias you have. Let mm -hmm. folks know that we're doing this. and. Hit us up with your questions. You know, we are taking questions from the audience. Yeah, if you got a question crowd. about a about a gun, let, let us know because Yeah, gun questions, you're saying. Okay. Try to try to stump yeah. well. I that. That's what Yeah. Is. So let me do some shout outs here. Of course, you know, early mm -hmm. early in the chat we had Jock Carpenter. That's a very good friend right there, longtime supporter of the channel. Of course, we had Chris B. Okay, we've got, let's see who else is in here. Uh, the Tyvin Show. Tyvin. What's up, Tyvin Show? Uh, and anyone who wants to come on with us, all you have to do is hit up Lola. She's got the links. You can actually come on here live and chit chat with us. I see Real Cujo, Mark Wagner. Man, all the boys are in the building. 904 hey. Outdoors. <laughs> What's up? Uh, and then I see DC2 Mega Boost. What's going on? I'm going to turn my. Uh Turn my ringer off my phone. <laughs> yeah, Matthew May also there in the chat. So what's up to everyone? Just want to remind you guys once again, like, subscribe to this. Make sure you subscribe. YouTube has been unsubscribing people, mm. doing all kinds of other craziness. Not and of course, stuff. yeah, of course, share this on social media, whatever social media you have with folks. Let them know that we're here and we're doing this. We're going to talk guns. Now, Walter, you were throwing up revolvers. What kind of revolvers you got there? Okay, let's... um. Let's go. Yeah, let's, uh, across, let's go across the pond here. This okay, is, a, is that a Webley? That's a Webley, yes, sir. Oh, wow, look at that. Me knowing something. Yeah, uh, <laughs> minus the uh, yeah, you knowing something. That's funny. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> yeah. This is a uh, minus the uh, spur on the hammer. So, um, the idea behind that, one of the ideas that like the tankers, the people in the tanks, didn't want it to catch on anything, so they took the spur off. Um, yeah. So yeah, this yeah. is thirty-eight. 38 um yeah. short if i'm not or 38 well uh, yeah sure okay yeah yeah, that's yeah. Right. uh so 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 who i call jock carpenter because it just sounds cool to me he's reminding me in the chat that it's john carpenter joe. like joe oh joe joe carpenter like john carpenter the filmmaker okay so joe jc yeah we can also call him jc jc like J yeah jc was a carpenter right <laughs> that's what they say yeah i guess you know yeah. Absolutely, and uh, the real Cu the real Cujo man is like you know, shouting us out on the chat. Real Cujo donating some money to the cause. Thank you very much. That's pretty cool. Cool. Yeah, you know, wow. like fifty you bucks. bucks. And you lost wow. two bucks to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, fifty bucks from the real Cujo. Very nice. Wow. That's that's you know that's really cool. By the way, real Cujo uh, actually won. A holster from Sam Andrews. Do you know that? Yeah, I got that. I a monarch. That. Yeah, there's a video out there. Um, yeah, I shared it. Yeah, yeah, cool video that he put up. So I, I need to share that too. I've been slipping, slipping was, on the um, pimping. Stingray skin, I think it was not. Was yeah, it. yeah, he has a really nice, uh, really nice holster that he got from, from Sam that he won in the contest. So there we go. And and real Cujo says that that is money for ammo. Hmm. Yeah, so very, very nice. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. And, you know, of course, uh, we'll, you know, we, you know, Joe Carpenter, JC, <laughs> or like I like to say, Jock. Jock. Yeah. 
Sounds so okay, so what's up with the, with those the only two revolvers that you have? No, no. Let me say, um, you're not a big revolver guy, right? So I think I, I like I think them. And I, I just don't have a lot right at the moment. So yeah, but a Webley is pretty nice. Yeah, I, I used to have a 455 Webley, and I and I I got I I sold it. Um, I shouldn't have done that, but I did. Yeah, um, you that's, selling guns? That's rare. Oh, I've Usually. sold a lot. I sold oh, really? a lot of guns. Yeah. Usually you only buy, but okay. Well, so like the, a, you know, things like paying the mortgage and stuff like oh, that. Oh, of course, so, yeah. We gotta yeah. pay that every now and then. Yeah. Well, <laughs> pay the taxes. Uh, well, taxes. Um, uh, um, here is a. This is a Smith and Wesson, thirty-eight special, and I don't know which model it is. Somebody can correct me. Hold it up. Let's take a look maybe, at it. Maybe help me with that. Um, yeah. Yeah, just hold it still right there. That's pretty cool. Real short. Turn it barrel. around. Like, yes, like a bulldog-ish. With, with a full handle, though, full tang. So it's. Mm -hmm. it looks like it should have a short little stubby grip, but it doesn't. So I'm not sure of the model. I'm not a Smith & Wesson aficionado. So is this like an ankle gun back in the days? No, nah, not with this big no. old <laughs> big old handle. Your big though. ankles. Got a big old handle. But, no, it's 38 yeah. Special. It's a cool gun. We've shot it a few times. Right. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I got a project for uh, Babyface when I when I remember to bring yeah. it up to you. Yeah. This is a, a Colt New Army. Ooh. It's a thirty-eight special. Okay. It's probably a turn of the century. Wow. Okay. Um, it needs a little loving. Yeah. It needs I try to get Babyface since we were talking a, a little bit about revolvers, but he's off to dinner. He's got to right. go to dinner sometimes with the girlfriend. Keep her happy. Yeah. No, I want to strip off the nickel plating on this and and blew it and get her running. It'd be a cool little military pistol. So yeah. So what what time frame is that? Um, okay, Mister Some Gun says open it up um, on on the inside. So show us that again and uh, in, in yeah. the web inside of here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it was in that one. What yeah. are you What are you looking at in there? Well, there's more. You have your bifocals on. Yes, sir. Sonny, I got him. Nope. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, All right. Let me tell he you. Says if you open it up, you'll see what it is. If you open it up. Well, that's what she said too. But um. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing. I'm seeing a T. And that's all I'm seeing, and, and a number. It's probably a little worn out in there. You seeing a T? No, it's huh? not actually. It's not. It's not. Um, this gun's in good shape actually. Okay. It, it probably needs a cleaning, which I didn't give it the last time I shot it. So um, imagine that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not surprised. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing surprises me either. So, yeah, yeah. I see a letter, big letter T, and then a number. So, um, what's the number? Oh hell, you had to ask me that. <laughs> Gosh darn it, son! <laughs> what's the number? That's exactly what some guns is asking. What is the number? That the number. Get out okay. your get out your binoculars. I got to get out a better light source. The light in here sucks. Yeah, yeah. Do you, don't you have a flashlight? You should have a flashlight on you, man. Come on. Didn't we go over this in EDC? You know what? I, I tried to do that one day and carry around. I got a nice little Surefire light. Uh huh. But it's my Surefire's got serrations on the front, serrations on the back. Okay. It's, it's designed to use as a weapon. And okay. It's not, it's not very pocket friendly. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you need to, yeah. You need to, you know, I should check you on your EDC. You know. <laughs> Your EDC. Yeah. Do you at least have a knife on you? Always, my friend. Okay, you got a knife. Let's see it then. Let's well, see. Well, no, I, I took it out of my pocket. From no, in... that is. What are you talking about? I, uh, don't right. even try it. You can't say you have a knife on you and then, but you don't have it on you. Well, when I came so. home, I took it out of my pockets. So uh, sorry. Yeah. Well, then it's not on you. You can need right, just well, like just like the flashlight. It does you no good over there. Oh, well, this boy. well, this qualify. Uh, yeah. Um I see you is, like cookeries. What yeah, is that? This, is, like this a, is a cheap uh this is a cheap one here. Yeah, the it's serrated. Yeah, this is just like a um, it's a United Cutlery. It's yeah. just more like more like a machete than anything, so um I bought it on a spur one day. Um I'll I'll 904 outdoors said Streamlight Protac 2L Big Daddy Guns has them. <laughs> 
<laughs> they want me to go get so, up and get a Steve, flashlight. If you you're the one that needs to read the thing that's in the revolver, we're still waiting to see what is this Time revolver. Out. Oh boy, here we go. Here. Now he's going. He's, he's, he's going to get. He's getting the flashlight. And I'm still here. I'm still I can, here. I can, we're getting feedback. All right. <laughs> Et phone home. Um, okay, there you go. Okay, now now you got a light. That mofo is bright now. <laughs> Tell you what, that like I said, it's got the letter T, and then uh, three six three zero one. T three six three zero one. So someone let us know what that is. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that's the yeah. serial number. The three. And DC two Megaboo says I'm gonna have to start the podcast off with an EDC check. You know what, Walter? We're gonna probably have to do that for you, man. You need what? to get your ED, you need to get your EDC game up. My yeah. EDC, my my emergency stuff. Is that what you? Yeah, everyday carry. In case oh, you're oh, oh, EDC okay, 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 I see. That's which is even more embarrassing. Let me turn this. Let me turn this alien signaling light off here <laughs> yeah that's actually yeah. the ones that altendo said that he uses oh yes that's right and yeah. i bought a couple of them the only problem is when you go to put them inside the safe the safe has this fuzzy material all over inside of it mm -hmm. there's nowhere to stick it so okay I'm just using it like a hand that's door. not what she said but okay let's go can know where to stick it um yeah let's all right let's so move on let's here this is a smith and wesson another smith and I don't know this model either. And you're gonna, everybody's gonna start yelling the same thing. Look inside the web. Look, this is an old one. This one I believe is 30. On the barrel it says. Uh, Matthew May says 442. I'm guessing that's the other Smith and Wesson you have. Oh no, he exactly. says model 36. Model 36. Okay, all right. This one here is a 32 Winchester. Mm -hmm. So I haven't shot this yet. I got it from a friend. Um, I got to do some research on the ammo and see what I can find. But um, have you had that for a while? Uh, a couple years. Just haven't got around to doing anything with it. Yeah. One of those guns that's not like it's screaming at you to shoot it. So. Right. Right. Okay. What? Um, okay. Was that all your revolvers? Was that I it for the revolvers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So what else do you want to do here? Yeah. Was that so it? I got one more. One, okay, more one more revolver. Okay, this let's see. This is like down and dirty. This is an HR H and R twenty two. Okay. You know, well, it's one of those guns that they're really fun to shoot twenty two long rifle. So H and R they make they make a lot of guns, right? They have, yeah, in the yeah. past. Are they they're still out there, right? Um, I believe so. They might not be in the original um, that these this gun was made, but the name's been bought and used and everything else. But mm -hmm. this is a nine twenty nine model nine twenty nine. 22 22 long rifle yeah or okay. short or whatever you want to stick it in anything okay. can you any convert kind of can you convert it to um you know some of those have the conversion you can do 22 magnum this one does not no okay no um that would be cool though 22 magnum i never had a 22 magnum pistol okay uh, no 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 22 mag not even the uh, not even the Keltec one. Huh? Well, no, you know, I'd like to have the one that George Kelgren designed before it was Keltec. Um, he designed a twenty-two Magnum. What was it? Oh, I can't remember the name of it right off the top of my head, but it's oh, before the PMR. Yeah, before it, before he was Keltec, he designed another, um, no, a twenty-two Magnum pistol. Okay. Somebody tell us on the boards here. Yeah, someone remembers what that is. I know he did. Didn't Kelgren also design the Tech Nine? Was it the Tech Nine? Mm, uh, One not of the I'm aware Tech of. something. Tech something he designed. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know if it was a uh, you know. Did you see the um, the video that um, Altendo did with Mark Krebs? Nope, haven't got a chance to watch it. Did you watch it? Yes, I did. And How was it? It was it was interesting because he asked him what are like five five um, guns that he that Mark Krebs considered to be like underrated okay and one of the ones he chose with a tech nine. Oh, okay and um, I know a lot of people cringed and like ah, you know but uh um, he, he just said it you know reliable it feeds from a good magazine and you know he was giving some different features about it so it was interesting mm -hmm. to hear somebody say that have um, you ever owned a tech nine yes I have okay do you still own one no I don't oh, okay I, I sold did them. you did you find it to be reliable and all that good stuff? Yeah, it worked. Okay. I, bu I bought it from somebody who told me it was an Uzi. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, there was that. There was that time when everything that. Yeah. It, okay. It's the Intratech Tech Intratech. Nine. Intertech Tech Nine. Well, that yes. was Kelgren. He he was one of the designers on that. Oh, he was. Okay. Yeah, so I, me, I'd like to have one of those actually. I'd like to ask him a question then. Maybe what? he knows. Who Kelgren? No, yeah, or, or somebody in that in that area. Um, uh -huh. You know, the Tech Nine got basically they stopped making the Tech Nine. I think it was part of the assault weapons ban. But mm -hmm. um, now that that's gone, why hasn't it reappeared? I don't know. I who's mean, got Who's got the tooling for the Tech Nine? The molds and the dies and all the stuff for manufacture. It's got to sure. got to be sitting in somebody's yeah. warehouse someplace. Because I think he he wasn't like an owner or anything of that company. No. I think he worked for that company, and then when that company fell apart, he started his own thing. Yeah, that was Intertech, you know. the name of the company. Yeah. yeah okay. So the question is: So the question is to the to the audience here: What gun was the uh, the the father of the Tech Nine? Where did the Tech Nine evolve from? The, well, okay, I have no idea. I do, I do. Okay, so we'll give we'll give folks a a, a, give a second bit of time. The Grendel, yeah. bingo on the Grendel. That's the one that's the twenty two Magnum. High oh, computer. the Grendel. Okay, Grendel. that's yeah. what. Yeah, I saw someone. Let's see who said that. Mister Some Guns. Yeah, Mr. Some I, I, Guns knows his business. Well, that's good. You know the gun business. I wonder what Mister Some Guns does. And the business is good. Always, yeah, because he's <laughs> always telling us stuff. So that's good. Yeah, I mean, Mister Some Guns could be anyone. He could be George Kelgren. Uh oh, well, we know, but that's not likely. <laughs> Incognito. <laughs> uh, someone, uh, Chris B says the Sten. Nope. Um, Mr. Sumgum says Mac 11. Nope. Or Mac the 10. 10. No. Nope. Okay. Razor JB said Mac 10. No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Let's see who. Uh, what do they get, Walter? Do they get like a Safety Harbor T-shirt or something? If they could, you know. You want to do that? Sure. Yeah. You know. Sure. Um, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Some gun says he works in a gun store and he's a gunsmith. Sweet. Right. Okay. Oh, bingo. KG, Matthew May said KG9. Is that what it is? 10-4. Oh, so Matthew May <laughs> gets the gets the um, um, Safety Harbor T-shirt. What size message, are you, uh, Matthew May? Yeah, message me or message Hank and let me know your, uh, your contact info. Yeah, let us know what your size is and all that. So I saw the other day, speaking of your, your T-shirt, um, I saw the other day you sent me something with patches. Are you announcing that yet? The new patch? Yeah. Yes, I, I can if you like. Um, do you have any? Do you have them? Or not yet. You know, They're being made as we speak. Okay, but you don't have pictures or anything like um, that? Um, I actually do. Let me let me think about how you're going to see this. Um, if you have it on your phone, you could put it up on your phone. Yeah, let me. And let put me. it up to the screen. This will be, this will be a, um, you know, this people will be. either love this or hate it. <laughs> oh, well, you know. it's. What are you calling it? What are you calling your patch? It's the Trump Rooster. Oh, the Trump Rooster. There you go. So let me look up this KG9. I want to see what that looks like. We got these uh, Trump Roosters coming here, folks. Um, hold on, let me. Yeah, the, hold on. Let's lock. We're going to lock you on there so everyone can see it. There you go. So that's the new patch. Well, that's just one I decided to do with the other day because of the publicity. Yeah, just press touch your screen for a second because it the, went. Yeah, the, the publicity so, about the. Uh, about the one that was a, that was a blown up, or, a, or so he's doing like gang signs with his hands. Does no, that's 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 the way Trump usually you know he talks. He talks with his hands, kind of oh, fingers okay. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Chinese artist did it over in China, and then somebody recently um, they made an inflatable one and blew it up in the park behind the uh, White House. It was like a nine foot tall inflatable chicken thing. It was on the news a couple days ago. Um, the leftist. The left tried to turn it into something bad, but in reality, it's everybody loves the thing. So I decided to make it's some cute. Patches. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So you got a bunch of those patches coming. Yep, yep. If if you're if you're a, a Trump supporter or fan or you just like patches, yeah. I'll have them by the end of the month. So yeah, I'll tell you what. So here, you know, if this, for the people listening, we'll give out we'll give a couple. Away, of how them. about we give away like ten of them or something? Ten. Okay, ten yeah. of them. So we'll give away ten. So make comments. Now, I think the thing is in the back chat comments, that doesn't stick to the video when the video goes up. So you probably have to like shout out Lola Strange right now and do like at Lola Strange. She's in the thing. And then that way she'll get your info and we'll know to send it to her. And then when the video comes up, you're, you know, we'll work out something later on to get other people out there because this video is going to live on YouTube for a while. So, the, you know, 10 folks well, that are watching us right now will give you, you have to go like at Lola Strange, the first 10 people who go at Lola Strange, I want I want one of the Trump 
the Trump rooster patches and uh, and we'll hook you up there. But that yeah, that's a that's a cool idea, man. Like yeah, look at 904. 904 is begging for some too. Look at that. Oh no, no 904. <laughs> You're disqualified. <laughs> Steve's gonna get so mad. You, you're fired. Right. Yeah, that's right. You're fired, right, Steve. I wish I had the. I wish I had the Trump rooster right now. Just <laughs> you can aggravate Steve with it. <laughs> he's gonna. You're he's gonna start any. flaming us in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so much, Steve. We'll 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 look out for you, Steve. So much for the love. Yeah, we'll take care. Yeah, of that. no, no. Yeah, we're just messing with you. You know, yeah. he's so young. Steve is so young. He, you have to, you know. <laughs> You don't want to, you know, hurt his sense and sensibilities for such a young man. You know, he's not ready to deal with the tragedies. So let's not be <laughs> let's not be too mean to him. OK, so I know we, we did the revolver thing because we got a request before we started going. They want to see revolvers. But you brought a bunch of shotguns, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, you text me earlier and said, bring out some guns. So I did. Yeah. The yeah, night is absolutely. shotgun night. I figured we show guns. So before you do that, here's what I'll do. I'll just tease you guys with with the guns that I have out here real quick. So look at this. Let's see. I'm going to lock. Wait, it's not it's not locked. There we go. Check that out. Who knows what this gun is? <laughs> oh, I'm what saying is that. this? What is this? Who knows what it is? Let me know. I'll give you guys a chance. No, there's no prizes. I'll give you a chance. This is a Desert Tech, obviously a bullpup. Bolt action, Desert Tech. I believe it has a 308 uh, barrel in it right now. I think it's set up for 308. But there is a uh, 300. Uh, where, where was that? I think we've got a 300 Win Mag. Because one of the things with the SRS is that you can change barrels and stuff like that. Change your magazines and you're good to go. And you can go to other calibers. So that's one of the things with the Desert Tech. And this, this belongs to Big Daddy Guns. Mm. Um, actually, John here at Big Daddy Guns, this is one of his personal rifles. Mm. So at some point, I, I just took this out of the uh, the big safe in the store today, but at some point I'll probably shoot this because um, I don't know if I've shot an SRS. Maybe at a show, but I've never done a video on an SRS. We've done some other stuff like the HTI and all that, and I've shot the MDR. So while every, everyone that, that's into Desert Tech while you're waiting for the MDR to come out, this is what you got. Yeah, so you got that bolt action. We'll t we can talk a, a little bit about that later. And then uh, this this is like, this is a big boy right here. This is definitely 300 Win Mag. Ooh, this is a ooh. Nemo Arms. Oh, I want to shoot that. Yeah, Nemo Arms. Um, what is this Nemo Arms? Hold on a second. Uh, I had it. I had it here because Nemo Arms has like, okay, the recon. So this is one of the recons from Nemo Arms. Need to put that one. Uh, yeah, that this gym, this that thing gym. is this thing is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous, right there. <laughs> I've never shot. You know what? Have you ever shot a Nemo Arms gun? I don't think I have. Not Maybe at a show. I think that, that 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 gem tech can of mine would go in there nice. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Big Daddy Guns is like uh, for this area of the country is one of the dealers of Nemo Arms. So if you want to get Nemo Arms stuff, you can get them from Big Daddy Guns. Cool. Um, you're going to probably need to ask for the Hank Strange discount somewhat because <laughs> Nemo arm guns are not cheap. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> They're not cheap. And I know Steve wants one of those because I saw him I saw him checking one out the he other day. You in that thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, thing, that thing is monstrous. That also belongs to uh, Big Daddy Guns, belongs to John from Big Daddy Guns. So we'll talk about that a little bit. All right. What you got? All right. All right. We can... Do we want to start out mild or we want to start out wild? Uh, okay, let's go from you want to mild work up to, to the. You want to yeah. work up to a. <laughs> yeah. Let's, <laughs> yeah. Let's. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's start. Let's start mild. That's pretty wild, though. Model Eleven Remington that I did um, a couple weeks ago, where I yeah. put new stocks on it. And yeah, yeah, you were working on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I still got to do a little bit more to it, but it's it, this thing was in a fire. And it was fugly when I got it, so it's. Okay, um, so you totally rehab this. Did you get this cheap? I paid forty bucks for the metal. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> it's pretty so, cheap. <laughs> yeah, the stocks cost. Um, the stocks cost about a hundred. So, um, okay. Or sixty. It depends on what you get. How fancy. 
but yeah, you know, but still, it's a cheap gun, all things considered. So yeah, you got some, you got a little bit of money in it, some elbow yeah. grease. Yeah, a little. You learn a little bit too. I've been learning stuff about the Model Eleven. Have you modified it in any way, or are you just uh, well, restoring it to it's, original? It's got a shorter barrel, and then we made. I made this mag tube extension for it. So I got about six shots total. I think seven. One, one in the, uh, one in the, one in the chamber, and six in the mag. So, okay, didn't we shoot? I think we shot that, right? I think we shot that gun. Uh, it looks familiar. I can't remember. Um, I might not have put out the video as usual. Yeah, I can't. I can't remember either. Maybe at the house. Maybe at the house. The end of there. Yeah. Um, Let's see. Next one I got here. I haven't. This is a Mossberg uh, 930 that my son was using for a while, doing some three gun with. Okay. Uh, I made the mag tube extension for it, and then the mag it, tube is longer than the barrel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Uh, he added the, uh, you know, the extra, the, uh, what do you call it for the, for the extra rounds and put the extended cocking handle on it and. Stuff like that. So, right. This one I bought for myself to play with, and my I gave it to my son to use for a while, and I've never really shot too much. Maybe two. Are or we three talking times. about is this Will Killer Keller or yeah, the yep, other yep, side? Yep, yep, okay. Yeah. yeah. When he yeah. was at school for a while, he was doing some three gun. So. Oh, okay. Because Spencer's not doing any competitive. Does Spencer even like shooting? Uh, no, I, that's not. I see him shooting twenty twos. He likes this, as he calls the uh, stealth twenty two and stuff. Yeah, he likes he likes anything that's suppressed. <laughs> and and with lots of rounds, he goes. Tew, 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 tew. Yeah, yeah, but that's it, right? He doesn't really like. Um, He's not in the noises. Noises really. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So anything yeah. that's suppressed, Spencer's cool with. But yeah, Will will shoot anything. Yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, let's see what else we got here. So let's move over here a little bit. Um, well. Let's do some shameless self-promotion. Here's okay. a keg 12. Here we uh, go, keg 12. This is a 10-inch barrel. Okay. Uh, and extend it. Is the tube the tube is also longer? Yeah, because it's 10 inch. It just it's, yeah. so instead of uh instead so that's of four? Instead of two and one, you get three and one, correct? Three and one, okay. Yeah, yeah. Three plus one, okay. So anyways, that's the keg twelve. And it's uh Remington. This one's on uh based on a Remington, yes. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I. So, for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, we just did the firepower rig video, which is basically an Andrews custom. It's the uh, Monarch shoulder rig, but modified for a shotgun, and then your handgun and extra shells and stuff like that. So, we got we have that video up on YouTube for anyone who hasn't seen it. Okay, so next online here, this is a Black Aces tactical receiver. I like this. Which takes uh, takes the big ass mags. Yeah. And, I like the magazine fed man. And I made the uh, front end for it here with this handle grip assembly where you can actually you can actually pump it with an attached and not run into the into the magazine. So mm -hmm. so um, it's fun. Kind of you know it's it's obviously pretty extreme looking. If yeah, into that kind of thing. Absolutely. Now, someone asked when you when did you develop the Keg Twelve, and there will will there be any new versions or models of the Keg Twelve? So now that that uh, Black Aces, that's not really is that going to be something you're putting out there or no? I have I built a couple for people that that, that wanted. Um, basically, they provide the receiver and all the parts, and then um, I do the front end, shorten barrels, and that that piece where the grip attaches. We make that. And basically mm -hmm. um, assemble it for them if they want. Yeah, I've done a few of them. Most yeah. people, most people are using the Black Aces receivers with, with uh, braces. Okay. Sig brace, and then okay. they they build a really small little gun with a sig brace. Yeah, um, I think um, we met. Didn't we meet the Black Aces guy yeah, somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm maybe I'll maybe I'll talk to those guys. But you're not. So you're you don't have any more of those, right? You're not doing. Um, no, not like I have them in stock or anything. No, no. It'd yeah. be like if somebody wants to do one or wants me to do one, they just contact me and we'll work out the details. Well, yeah, we'll get something done there. Yeah. I think I want one of those. I want the yeah, yeah, I want yeah. the magazine fed. Um, I need to I need to work that out. Let me hit up some questions. Uh, sure. Some gum says the rig is awesome. Uh, DC2 Mega Boost says that the, it was an awesome video. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, Mike Bryant wants to know if Hank uh, makes that rig for an Uzi or other sub gun instead of a shotgun. Um, do, do you remember what Mike said about that? Um, not Mike. What um, 
what Sam said about that? I mean, it's possible. Yeah, you you could probably do it in that same idea, just with a bigger strap to to, to clamp on with. I mean, yeah, you know. you'd have to probably call up Sam and ask right. him. <laughs> you know, um, I know he will. He's ready. Like he, I don't think he did a lot of those firepower rigs. But then we wound up seeing that and we're like, oh, this is really cool. We should get those. So he is going to be making the firepower rigs and he might be willing to, you know, it's just modifications, right? Right, right, right. He right, might right. be willing to modify that for you to fit an Uzi if that's what you want. I know that he um, he had a version that he showed me that was for a suppressor. So it had the, the um, like the handgun, the shotgun, and then a thing there for your suppressor. And then the shells. Uh, no, I think it was extra magazines and shells. So he has some different variations of that. So I would say get in touch with him. Tell him you saw the video, and um, tell him that you have a setup. And you know, yeah, he could probably do it. As long as you have money, he can probably do it. So yeah, yeah. I mean, he does custom stuff. Yeah. And if you're gonna go that route, I suggest uh, you go real crazy and get like some kind of badass exotic skin. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, just because you might as well just go for it on that, you know? Yeah. Um, Stingray, Stingray to me is really cool. I like the Stingray look. That's got a cool look to it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like I've got the wallet here. Let me pull that out for anyone who's watching. This is like an old wallet that I've had for a while from Sam that's always in my pockets with all my EDC stuff. Like the Stingray is just really tough. And Sam, uh, you know, he, he, I think he's still making these. He's got different, like this, I keep my uh, business cards. He's got my Hank Strange business cards in there. So Stingray, to me, man, is one of my favorite ones out of what he does. Cool. Yeah, cool. okay, what, what other? What, what else we got? Here? Now we're going to get into some bigger shotguns. Um, one of your favorites, I know you like this because you've said you did, um, is the... Uh, is the Armagon 12. Oh, they are, yeah. So basically, the Armagon 12, um, as you see it right now, it's an SBS, short barrel shotgun. Right. Of, but the barrel was, you know, about eight or six or eight inches longer. Handguard was longer. And I shortened everything up. And and um, and actually, the original recoil, the original stock had no recoil pad. And it kicked like a mule. Sorry. I mean, I, I'm usually not scared of recoil or anything, but that thing hurt. So, <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, you shouldn't be. You're shooting 50s all the time. But all the 50s have this nice recoil pad on it. So what I did was I replaced the stock on the back here and made an adapter and put this nice Pac-Man recoil pad on the back, and it tamed the beast. So mm -hmm. um, this one's got the, um, I believe it's an eight-round mag, if I'm not mistaken. So it comes with a five, if I'm I'm yes. So you yeah. bought this at Shot Show a couple of yeah. years ago, yeah, right? A couple of years ago, this um, this thing's made in Turkey, or at least part of it is made in Turkey. Mm -hmm. um, it uses the um, the M nineteen nineteen mags, which are the ones that for the the shotguns that look like an AR fifteen. Oh, okay. So okay. mags are no problem to get. Um, this upper is very similar to a lot of the other Turkish um, AR looking guns. Um, the lower, yeah. Go ahead. I think the lower was actually made in the U.S. So uh, now, would you buy that again? Because I know you had to do a lot of modifications to get that to work. Um, so, well, you know, and not everyone, you know, is a manufacturer. So you can't do these kind of things. Yeah, um, so not everyone can do the kind of stuff that you can do. But what's your review of that Armagon? Do you think it's good? Um, no good? It worked all right as it was. Mm -hmm. um, and it was short that we had to do some modifications to make it run. Um how I'd much probably, was it? What does it? Well, I mean, I don't know what it actually goes for out there because you probably paid like wholesale. I, yeah, the the dealer cost on this was um, when I got it was just under six, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think I've seen them a little cheaper lately. I know Centerfire has some still. Okay. So, um, I uh, it's cool. Um, I don't know if I'd buy another one. Um. You know what? There's different. There's different companies that are making this pattern shotgun out there. There's more stuff coming out. I think uh, Standard Manufacturing has the SKO, yeah, yep. which is that kind of a thing. I've shot that at Shot Show. We haven't tested it, but I know they did release that, so that's out there. Maybe I'll see if if we can uh, get one from Standard Manufacturing to test it. And then they're going to do a bullpup version of that. 
Oh, cool. so there'll be a bullpup one. Maybe we'll get our hands on both of those. One of them, you know, we'll see what goes down, and we'll. Right. I mean, you know, that's all made here. Yep, yep. Now, this was so, this was cool. I mean, like I said, it was just an experiment. It was fun. Um, probably need to do a little bit more to it. Um, we've shot it a decent amount. We haven't shot it probably as nuts we should, but yeah. Uh, now, um, have you made that full auto yet? This no, no. Uh -uh. My no. Uh, must have. Let's oh. hold up. <laughs> the, the, uh, in, come on, the, Walter. We oh, need to pull on, auto get, that thing. Get with it, will you, please? Um, <laughs> we need, how are we supposed to test it if it's not full auto, Walter? Just okay. tell me that. Well, okay. See, I took it. It's got. It comes apart kind of like an AR. It's got two pull pins. The hmm. internal Here, parts. Hold, hold that up for a second so folks can get a look in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The internal right. parts are similar to an AR-15. So I get. Well, no. I don't know. It'd take a little bit more looking at. Um, it doesn't have a bolt like an AR, so you can't use the same full auto mechanism with a sear and everything. So it could be a little more challenging. I don't know if I have the time to mess with it just to just to make you happy. But um. yeah. So, you yeah, know, I say definitely mess with it. I just want to remind we've got like more people jumping on. I can see the numbers going up. I just want to say what's up to everyone that's jumped in there. I know yep. lots of people are like saying what's up in there. Um, obviously, you know, we're running. Don't forget to hit the like button here. Don't forget to subscribe and definitely, definitely share this with your friends on social media. You know, um, that helps us get the numbers up. You know, let everyone know we got this party going on. Now, do you have a 410? What is that, Walter? Do you have a 410 shotgun also? Well, I was talking with I, think I was talking with Tyvin the other night about um, the um, the Keg 12 and 410. Uh, we do it in, with a Mossberg and 410. I don't have one here with me tonight, Tyvin. Um, bad me, bad me. I should have thought I should have brought that. Oh, just for so, you. oh, you do have I? I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't think we've ever shot it with you. No, so, that would be cool. I'm sure a lot of people yeah. would like it. What's the uh, is what kind of capacity do you get out of the 410? I think it's two and one. Two and one, same thing. Yeah. I mean, I can I can make it either way. I can make it longer too, but um, trying to keep it kind of keg 12 ish. Because the, the 410 shells are longer, so it ends yeah. up being a little bit longer than normal. So is it any lighter? What benefits? I mean, uh, a little bit. Got yeah, less recoil out of the 410. Lighter, yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit. Okay. Yep, yep. Do you do a 20 gauge? Yes. 20 gauge Mossberg, yes. Okay, what about a 10 gauge? I saw I saw IV 88, 88 shooting some, shooting up some watermelons and stuff like that. A 10 gauge, it looked like a lot of fun. <laughs> I was watching well, that today. That was a, that was like so cool, man. You don't usually just see them just having fun shooting shit up, but. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, Evan, okay, yeah. Well, so I mean, there are 10 gauge shotguns out there, but I don't think there's there's definitely not a 10 gauge Mossberg, and there's not a 10 gauge Remington. Um. So yeah, I think you get into the Browning realm when you get 10 gauge. Okay. Um, so it probably yes, there would be a couple psychos out there that want the 10 gauge keg 12. <laughs> I did it. I did a three. I did a three and a half inch for somebody. Um, hmm. And I, you know, he said he wanted it, so I built it. You know, and I don't know if he had to get his wrist reconstructed after he shot it, but um, you know, yeah. that's his world. So. Yeah. So um, okay. So. Yeah, let's see. What is this here? What this is, is the uh, the DD, DDI 12, which is AK ish looking, Sega looking 12 gauge with a oh, okay. MD Arms 20 round drum magazine. Yeah, now have we shot this? No, we I like haven't. The, I like the drum magazine. That looks uh, bodacious. This drum mag I bought back during one of the pseudo panics. Actually, I bought a couple of them before one of the panics because I thought they would get banned. And um, I've never fired the 20 round. I've never used the drum. So we need to do it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all the all of this needs to be tested. Tyvin Show wants to see us do a 410 video, so that's, hey, you know, yeah, we, we could do, do that. that. Yeah, no we're there. Uh, the DDI gun, this, this thing, we've shot it. I've shot it, and it works all right. So um, it's made in China. And um, you know the quality is you know here. Let's see for example. Hey, look at that. That's oh. that's that that's really good. Yeah, which yeah. that's typical. <laughs> that's, <Not>. typical <laughs> that's typical Chinese stuff. But yeah. um, it's got you an. You also squeeze a little harder on that to make it come off. It's not supposed to come off that easy. That's what she said. 
Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah. no, this is uh, I got an AR type stock attachment, so you can you can switch out the stock and go with an AR type stock. Um, it could o almost, well, it could almost go uh, test stock if I really wanted to. Um, yeah, and you know what we should definitely do with that? What's that? Full auto. <laughs> How did? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on, Walter. <laughs> Okay, it's well, I got a. Can, I got, it's a perfect can. Do you have any? Do you have any full auto shotguns? No, sir. I no. do not. See, so it's about time. You need a full auto shotgun. Well, I probably do, but I got a. When you take them apart and you look at it, it's it's similar to an AK, but it's different. And so I'm not sure exactly how the full auto um, sagas and stuff work. I'd have to do a little yeah. research. Yeah. Um. So is that that trigger looks like an AK trigger in there? It's similar. Yeah, similar but different. Yes. So um, okay. with, a, with yeah. a normal AK, you have a uh, you have like a, a disconnector, or it comes up through the receiver mm -hmm. up in here, and you know make sure that the bolts close, so you don't go off out of battery. But these these shotgun receivers are built different, and um, wow. I'd have like I said, I have to either talk to somebody. I, I have somebody I could probably talk to and get some answers. I just have to ask, and I haven't done that yet. So okay. Um, I probably should though, because I know somebody used to. They used to actually work at DDI, so. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so DDI's changed hands, right? Yeah, they were bought by I think Palmetto State Armory. I think. If I'm not yeah. Mistaken. So Palme so since Palmetto State bought them, have they, have they been putting out stuff? Um, I think Palmetto State bought them to get into the AK, or get into a better position with the AKs. Oh, okay. Um, Oh, so but, they're just trying to leverage and get in on the AK market. Yeah, but they closed their they, I guess DDI was in Knoxville and then they closed that whole location and laid everybody off. So Yeah. So someone wants to know if we've tried the Cheetah twelve. I haven't, have you? No, haven't had that one. No. And then someone asked if you have a Vepper twelve, which I think you do, right? Um, I don't no, have a Vepper. No, no, you have no. a three oh eight. You have a three oh eight that Vepper. I bought, yeah. 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 So um, no Vepper you ever you ever had a Vepper twelve? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's one of those things where it's like, I almost pulled the trigger a couple times on one, but I didn't do it. So Yeah, close. I've shot them. They're cool. Yeah. Uh, um, well, speaking of Vepers, um, probably the closest thing to a Vepper would be a Sega. Okay, there you go. Oh, well, you know, not really, but it's, you know, it's what great. Is it? Made oh. rush. It's, it's a Sega, <laughs> but it's not really a Vepper. Um, yeah. But this is, um, you know, obviously uh, one with the regular style stock um, with a big old mag stuck in it just for 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 fun Absolutely. These are, you got to get the biggest mag possible biggest man possible yeah these aren't importable anymore either so um, I actually have two Segas that I've been threatening to um, shorten but I just never seem to get around to it so yeah Stephen Dawkins wants to know if you do rifles he has a uh, FN 308 Norma mag and you would like to have some work done to it. Do you do you do that stuff with uh, rifles? Uh, no, I don't do like gunsmith Modification repair work stuff. No. Yeah, just, you, you do some custom. Uh, well, not really you do well, some kind of stuff with the shotguns, right? Uh, a little well, begrudgingly <laughs> Yeah, well, I, what I, 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 I do keg 12s for customers that already have like a form one or they you know They have their own gun and they want it. That's already an AOW, but it's or, or SBS that's 12 inches long and they want to go seven, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, even I've even redid some people's shotguns that were hack jobs by some other people. Mm -hmm. So um, that kind of stuff I do. But as far as like custom rifle stuff, not no. Yeah, because that gets really complicated. Yeah, and it's time consuming and and yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got to get the fifties. You got to make the fifties. It's like making the donuts. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, yeah, it pays the bills making the donuts. Yeah. Yeah. So, absolutely. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So Sega, um, I so have two of them. If anybody uh, is really jonesing for a Sega, oh, you um, got two? Yeah. Um, um, I well, consider I consider selling one of them if somebody really wants a Sega. So, um, what are you? What price are you thinking here on a Sega? Um, Probably, uh, well, say like for example, this one here, that's just like it is. Well, not with this big ass magazine. Five hundred. Uh -huh. 
Okay. And that's about the going price for a Sega, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So yeah. just because uh, of it. Yeah. I mean, I might take you up on that. Oh, okay. Well, um, <laughs> now. get a Sega. I, we could probably come to get some a Sega kind of, up in here. I mean, I, I've got a suppressor that we could put on that bad boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. We could probably come to some kind of agreement, you know? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We could. We could do some negotiating. <laughs> some Negotiate. more stuff. You want some yeah. goats? <laughs> hey listen those things are often traded for goats don't even laugh man i'm not don't jamaican i don't you know i don't have any hey, those dudes dudes in the middle east are trading those things for goats are you kidding me <laughs> okay you know, jerk goat um oh oh yeah you can you can cook them up you know I'm, 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 do you know how to jerk stuff you know well that's not even <laughs> I didn't even mean it that way. I didn't even mean it that way. I was talking like about like jerk. We're talking about like Jamaican jerk chicken. Yeah, you jerk off. You you're know the, what I'm yeah, you're the. I know you're the cook in the family. I don't know. That's you know. I don't get into that. It's a little too spicy for me. No, I don't. I don't like super duper spicy food. So, um, now here we go. Let's talk Catamount Fury, um, or maybe let's not talk about Catamount Fury. Um, this is basically the Chinese knock off of the Sega. Mm -hmm. The only thing is it doesn't use Sega mags. So um, Okay, and it's got let me see the stock. The stock the in that stock kinda is cool. kind of it's kind of interesting. Pistol, pistol yeah, pistol it's grip. It's like look. a precision, it's like a precision shooting stock from the Olympics. Yeah. They also made this this is the Catamount Fury 2. They made the the Catamount Fury 1 is has a stock like that Sega I just showed you. Um, which is more of a sporterized looking stock. This is supposed to be a little more military looking. Mm -hmm. um, you can convert this and put a regular AK pistol grip on it. Mm -hmm. uh, just got to swap out some stuff and move some stuff around. Um, I I ended up with two of these, unfortunately. <laughs> um, oh boy! <laughs> kind of a, <laughs> it's uh -huh. one of those stories, like you know, I ordered one from Century Arms, and it was taken forever to get, and. Uh, Centerfire came out with a sale, and they had them, and they had them in stock. And I, I ordered one from Centerfire, but I couldn't cancel the one from Century fast enough before they shipped it. Yeah, so Franz I'm, Hayes says that looks like a Dragunov stock. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, um, so what? So what do you think about the quality of these? The the Catamount Fury is is up the food chain from, um, to me, than from that DDI gun. It is um, okay. So it's, it's not bad. I mean, it's really, you know, for somebody to make stuff, you look at the casting quality and stuff, and it's not, it's not bad. Um, the only problem is this one, both of them that I got, didn't function properly. Okay, well, um, that's not good. In well, cycle, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so then, then you know, so, so how's that up from the other one? <laughs> looks wise, it was up. Now oh, here looks. we go. Okay, I, we're talking looks. We're not talking function wise. I I go on the internet and I say, hey, you know, my gun don't work. Anybody else having the same problem? And people go, oh, you need to break it in. You know, that's my favorite subject, breaking in a gun. There's because, a break in for that. I've never seen break in for these kinds of guns. When I bought me? this, when I ordered this from Century, these things were six hundred and something dollars. Okay. And they're not that much now anymore, but um. So I don't think of myself having to break in a six hundred dollar shotgun. Sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. So I sent it back to Century, both of them actually, and they one looks like they did something to it. One cool part about it, it's got a hinge top cover, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. Um, one looked like they did some polishing on it, the other one looked like they didn't do anything and just sent it back to me, which I hear uh -huh. is one of Century's tricks. Yeah, Mister Sumgums uh, basically says they're POS. <laughs> now, so, and now, he offered now. you fifty bucks for it, but then since you started talking about the function, he says he's only offering you twenty five bucks now. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> yeah, it's going down. Um, no, so you go on the internet now, you look for Catamount Fury. Everybody gun, everybody's guns works. I mean, they function. They're shooting them and they love them and all this stuff. And I'm like, well, why doesn't mine work? You know, it's like. So I think I got to open up the gas port a little bit and give it a little more gas, and it, it'll probably come to life. Um, yeah. I don't want to get rid of them. I wanted to shorten them, actually, and make some little guns out of them. So. Yeah, um, I say let's. Yeah, they definitely uh, feel like project guns to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have yeah. any. I don't have any. You know, it's not like I have a sentimental attachment to them or anything. So yeah, we can. Yeah. 
I mean, those are magazine feds. I can see me oh, yeah. do. I can see me dual wielding them in the future. Oh, <laughs> I'd like to see that too. Actually, <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, it's it's a possibility. I just gotta, I just gotta get. You know, these kind of projects, I have to get like inspired one day. I'm at the shop and I touch it, and then it's like, just keep working on it until you get it done. You know, and yeah. Um, Anyway. No, I think it's a cool project thing. I mean, you know, yeah. for, someone, for someone else out there who maybe gets into it and then it's, you know, it's got yeah. problems and they have to go back and forth with uh, Century, you know, that's. Yeah, I just, like I said, you go on the Internet, you look at the reviews that people do on these things and they, and they work fine. And I was like, I couldn't figure out, well, well why doesn't mine work fine? Mm -hmm. you know, it's like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I guess it was luck of the draw. Um, yeah, Next. someone else is saying, I don't know whether this is true or not, um, I think it's Steve Watson, he says, I think Walter's DDI-12 is the same as the Cheetah-12 when DDI was sold, oh, okay. shotguns is, were yeah. imported by someone else and renamed. Now you mention it, yes, it is, yes. Okay, right, yeah. okay. So um, there we go, good information from the people. Yes, know. yes, yes. Yeah, I think um, I think that uh, the Tyvon Show was asking about FPS Russia, I haven't heard anything else except you know there's like rumors out there that um, that it wasn't FPS himself that stuff wasn't for him, but you know I mean if there's like a personal family thing or whatever going down there I don't want to get too deep into it. You know I think someone that he cares about is probably not feeling too well, so maybe that's where that came out of. Yeah. You know so I get it. I mean that's why we you know some some people out there need the relief. So I'm trying to avoid. I'm trying to avoid getting into the. Uh, Don't get in the middle of it. To the politics today, I just like stick to some guns and stuff yep, like yep, that. Yep, 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 so, yep. Um, okay. So real Cujo wants to know what's up with the KES pistol brace. So what's up with that, Walter? Oh, <laughs> silence. <laughs> I can't say yet. So. Oh. Okay. Oh. Right, okay. <laughs> You got an NDA going on, so you can't talk about wow, that. Wow, look at wait, well, here we go. Yankee four. Walter, I got to shoot one of your fifty cals a few weeks ago, hit a steal at nine hundred and two thousand yards. Oh, sweet. Wow. Um I wish you had some video because we would love to see it. Who is Yankee Four? I don't know, but I like okay. the shooting. Um yeah. okay, that's good shooting Yankee Four. If you have some I'll video of that, the, let us, yeah, link yeah. link us video if you have any video. I don't know if he I don't know if that's a YouTuber or not, but um how how large is your target at two thousand yards? That's my question for you. I'm just curious. So yeah, yeah, uh -huh. definitely hit us up with some info on that. And anyone that's shooting um, that's shooting that thing out a distance, let us know. We don't get like a lot of up. Oh, he does have video. All right, if you oh. have video, send yeah. us links. Yeah, yeah, I'll if definitely. It's uh, if it's on the YouTube's or something like that, I'll spread um, the gospel for sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It looks like he is a YouTuber. Sweet. Uh, send us video and all that kind of stuff, and uh, you know maybe you can come on here and chit. -chat Tyvin, you listening, Tyvin? You can do it, man. You can yeah. do it. Watermelon at two thousand yards. Yeah, uh, I think he says uh, sixty by fifty feet. Oh my goodness! Holy Jesus! What was it side <laughs> of a ship or something? Or <laughs> yeah. That's it. Hey. Yeah. Was it a Somali uh, pirate boat or something or what? <laughs> you don't have to yeah. say if it was actually. So yeah. Um, so right now, someone's asking how much the KES will be. I don't. I know nothing. No, um, I, I don't he, know says, he says this is Bobby. You know me. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, so I guess you know who Yankee Four is. Okay, good, Bobby, Bobby. Yeah, it's possible. Um, is that someone? Oh, is that okay. Someone yes, there? those are blade. Those are blade. Yes, I do. Yes. Oh, you do. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Up Sweet. in uh, yeah. up in Lake City, if I'm not mistaken, or North Florida. Oh, awesome. Okay, so that's yeah. not far from me then. Well, not super close, but in the well, areas. That's, that's where the dozer blade is, I think. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, yeah. Definitely hit us up with a link. Like, if you put a link in here, we'll we'll share it and all that. Maybe we'll put it in the description of this video. So put a link in the dis in um, in the chat or something like that if you can. Um, if not, we'll just figure out some way to share it. But I'd definitely like to take a look at that. Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, someone wants to know when the MDR is coming out. I think that's Ben Farrell. Uh, yeah. You shot the MDR, right, when we went to shot? Because I think we were at the same. Yeah, that's with no, can't, no suppressor on it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, like uh, deafening. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm not sure when the MDR is coming out. I think it's. Uh, <laughs> Two no, weeks. 
Just yeah, two I weeks. think that's what's serious weeks. about it. Yeah, it really shouldn't be. I mean, you know, I don't think they want to be in a position. They have a reputation because of the, you know, because of these bolt action guns that they've made and people like their stuff. I don't think they wanted things to go this way, but it's just been plagued. You know, the production of this has been plagued with a lot of different issues. And I think maybe right now they've just adopted the strategy of not saying anything. Well, yeah. You know, Which like, is, oh, yeah. That's a, good, that's a good one because like, like you asked me about that stock, it's like. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's not good to like talk about these things and, and get everyone excited. As soon as, you, as soon as you give somebody kind of a date, they that day that that happens, they're on the phone asking you about it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I see so. Boss Hog has joined the chat. So what's up to Boss Hog? Boss Hog. I'm just jump I'm just jumping in there. Um Yeah, so you know, and then uh, Yankee Four says that it was an old dozer blade. So I guess that's where dozer blade comes from. I'm guessing he's he was shooting at a well, old this is not the this is not the person that I was thinking of actually. Oh uh -uh. Uh, there's somebody else here locally in Florida that's kind of doing the same thing with a long distance shooting and they use oh. a, they were hitting a, they were shooting a, um, a dozer blade or something like that. Similar. Yeah. I think um, he says he lives in South Carolina. He sent me a PM about how the videos helped out. Okay. That's cool, man. I, you yeah. know what? It's all, it's, I, that's what I'm, you know, that's what I'm hoping happens when we do the videos. I yeah. hope it entertains people, but also educates them a little bit. I'm trying to, you know, I don't know a lot about stuff here. I'm learning. And what I try to do is like, I think my dad, my, my parents are teachers. And I think it's what my dad calls like, I could be wrong on this, but the euphemistic yeah. method of teaching, basically you're learning something and you're teaching it at the same time. So well, it makes me feel good to know I taught somebody or helped at least not taught let's not even go to that level yet but hope you know it's always good to know we help someone out right yeah sure yeah yep 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 um yeah. so we should definitely um like find out I, I would really really like to see that video yeah i mean i always like to see people hit things at a long distance yeah absolutely and then let us know like what scopes and stuff like that you're using as well yeah. because um that's a question that we get from a lot of people um i get it okay, all the time so yeah, so Chris B wants to know if we've handled the Arak rifle. That's from uh, what's the name of that company? That's Faxon, I think. Faxon, right? yeah, Faxon. Yes, um, I think I have even, seen it. I have not shot it. So yeah, I think we had one that they sent us for literally like a couple of days <laughs> to oh. test. And by the time it got there, they were like, "Yeah, we need that thing back." And I was like, "Okay, it just got here." But, uh -huh. but I have, I have shot it. Yeah, you know. Um, uh, you know, I like things like that, that, that uh, Faxon's innovating in certain things. My only thing with it was a little bit heavy. But, you know, definitely there's some cool stuff going on in the ARAC. And they've been improving it. Oh, so okay. that was years ago when I, um, when I shot it. So, you know, I think they've done a bunch of things. They've made it lighter and all that kind of stuff. And I think recently they came out with a newer version. I haven't had a chance to check that out either. So, and then the real Cujo wants to know if there's any good uh, silencer deals. Um, I, the last one, I, there's a bunch of them out there right now. Yeah. Um, I know Amtac has something that if you get a suppressor from them, then they'll send you to 200 bucks. <laughs> but, you know, as some people say, hey, you know, they can also just like drop the price of, of, of it by 200 bucks, right? Yeah, they could. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, some other people asking about the MDR. Yeah, man, you know, at this point, we just have to wait until, like, I, the thing I think is that maybe somewhere down the line here, Desert Tech will just say, hey, these MDRs are shipping. <laughs> Get ready, folks. Here they come. Yeah. You hubba, know, hubba. That's what we can hope yeah. for. Did they take money from anybody, or did they just? Um, I don't know. They might. They might have done that a little bit. Because uh, that's really bad when you take money and you don't. Yeah, but, you know. Um, I've taken money for people on deposits, but I've never done it where I didn't have things ready to go. So, uh, Or yeah. things that were being made that were ready to go. So, um, Yeah, so Steve Watson wants to know what's your favorite semi-auto shotgun for the money. Hmm, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a lot of decent semi-auto, cheap semi-auto shotguns, especially some of the stuff brought in from Turkey that are knockoffs of, Decent shotguns. Um, 
Mm-hmm. Um, some out of shotgun for the money. Uh, I guess. Well, I guess I'm old school. Um, uh oh. Well, say like the guns, like the Winchester. Was it? They still make the fourteen hundred. The Winchester fourteen hundred. Um, 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 I don't know. I, um, I, I guess I'm old school. I like this Model Eleven Remington. You know, um, the Brownings. I like the Brownings. Um, and you know what? Old school. It's kind of retro. I like the way that it looks. You yeah. don't see those too I often mean, nowadays. Um, this, I like the this, retro look of it. The Mossberg 930 is not, not a bad gun. Um, I think it's made in Turkey, though. Um, if I'm not yeah, 904 is saying Benelli M4 for the yeah, money. Well, yeah, I mean, that's a good gun. I mean, you know, if so, you want to... You want to call yeah. it a gun? Um, Benelli's are definitely. I think Lola, um, Lola, aren't you? Didn't you th put up a Benelli on uh, Gunbroker? Not yet. But it's Not yet. Yeah, Lola's going to be selling a Benelli somewhere soon on Gunbroker. So the DP12. I don't know what it's. I Boss Hog, I have shot the DP12 and it works fine. Yeah. Uh, I haven't shot it extensively, but we just tested it. Um, it's yeah, we we torture tested. Actually, I torture tested the DP12. Oh, okay. That's right. You did that. I'm sorry. Got yeah, it. that's the that's the shotgun that we lubed up with the uh, Rand CLP. Six hundred rounds or something. Yeah. Uh, closer to seven hundred. We had like four guys just training it. You know, like one dude, <laughs> someone's loading it up, someone's banging on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You've heard of that? Hitting it hard, baby. Hitting it yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just running. You know, we were just running a train on that thing. So like, someone would shoot it and we load it real quick, shoot it again. And with, uh, I think it was like 30 something minutes, uh, 40, maybe 40 minutes or something like that. We put oh, uh, close to 700 rounds through it and it was still functioning, but we bent the feeding tubes because we were doing that much with it. I think it's good. I mean, I don't know when in that short period of time you're actually going <laughs> to, to put out 700 rounds of 12 gauge like that so i think it's a good gun you're not really going to have to use it that much and then um standard had it fixed and sent it back to us and i think just because of the heat and all that kind of stuff that's how we like we slightly bent the feeding tubes and it was still functional but what was happening is it was shooting both barrels at the same time okay so we yeah, have I mean, a video on that if you want to see it yeah that's that's a pretty i mean even during your zombie apocalypse you're not going to shoot that many times and you know, i don't think so no, if you've got like if you've got seven hundred zombies coming at you, man, you got bad bad news, Bonner. You're going down. Yeah, you know, <laughs> um, you, you you're in serious trouble. I, I can't remember. So. I I watched. I was I was the other night. I was I was doing some YouTubing, mm -hmm. and I was watching uh, reviews of the um, Century Arms AKs because I I I'm just curious about things. And I saw him review, um, I think it was the C39, I don't know if it was V2 or the, or the original one. I have the original one. And they mm -hmm. shot 1,000 rounds through it. They had 30-something 30, 30 mags plus 10, and they. Sh <laughs> I thought the gun barrel was going to fall off the thing. But they shot 1,000 rounds right in a row. It was like pow, 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 and it just kept going. And the the uh, century, You're saying the Sentry Arms? Uh, the I, think it was, I, think, I think it was the, the milled receiver gun. Yeah, yeah. Because I was trying to find reviews on the first gen re milled receiver guns, and I think um, Mac at um, Military Arms Channel did one, um, where he had really nothing bad to say about it. But you know, it worked, and it kept shooting and shooting and shooting. So, and he hasn't cleaned it, and or he hadn't cleaned it to that point. Yeah, I had okay. over. <laughs> so, Walter over... wants a link to that video. Uh, go ahead, Walter. Let me see if I can find that video. Okay. Yeah, it had like um, a thousand rounds through it before he cleaned it. So, um, yeah. I think that you know, um, yeah, a thousand rounds. So, did they have any problems with it at a thousand? We hadn't rounds? had any problems up to that point. So, um, I don't know if you saw that video. If anybody else has seen it, he was like testing it, and the, it was snow flurries coming down, and there were like tornado sirens going off where he was at. So it was like really bizarre, you know. I didn't see oh, tor really? Tornadoes and snow and all that stuff, but I guess it can happen. <laughs> the apocalypse literally <laughs> yeah. was happening. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know what? I, I think a lot of this depends on how much shooting you're going to do. You have to ask yourself, like, how much shooting are you going to do with something, right? Right, 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 right. You know, so obviously some people may do, um, you know, more shooting than others. Yeah, and some, uh, yeah definitely. Some I mean, less. I was so, uh, at the, over um, Robski at the AK um, something union, whatever that is. 
I forget what it is. Somebody will correct me. Yeah, um, yeah, Robski, AK yeah. Operators Union. Yeah, yeah right. He had, he had one, a C39, not the C39, but the... No, the he didn't have the... Yeah, he didn't have the mill version. Sheet yeah. metal receiver gun. 5,000 rounds. You know, things were falling apart and everything else. It was still shooting. It was still hitting the target um, repeatedly, but then he checks the headspace, and it was out of headspace, so... Um, and that's a gauge. I think, you know, hey, he did something so that you could know. You know that right. when you right. get he to this point. Of, yeah, he yeah. did the serious of dragging it around and, you know, the stocks got all beat up and crashed. And, um, yeah. You know. I'm, so Mr. Sumgu uh, Mr. Sumguns wants to know how this Patreon thing works and can he write it off <laughs> in his, on his taxes as a subscription for his job? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> and uh, Yankee4 uh, wants to know, Walter, what's the best Geisley trigger for your 50 uppers? Um, well, I got bad news for him. Yeah, I think you, you make it. Don't you make some kind of... Uh... Well, we, we provide a hammer with it mm -hmm. that really can only work with a standard AR trigger. Doesn't so, work with the Geisley. Yeah, it, yeah, it won't. The, the way that the the way that the bolt cocks, there's a cam inside on the bolt carrier, and the hammer rides on that cam. And standard AR triggers, even those trigger pack type ones, just won't work right. Um, so okay. you have to use our hammer, which to, we change the sear angle to to lessen the trigger pull um, with a standard AR trigger, and you can use a lighter trigger spring, but you have to use the heavier hammer spring. To get it to go off reliably so well let me ask you this have you guys ever considered just making the whole trigger like a specific you know specialized trigger maybe go into a two stage or something because that would be nice if you're shooting at distance yeah to like stage it and you know yeah um i thought about it but I'm, I, once again i'm not a trigger guy so um as far okay. as um like i said it, it's it's in the it's in the um if i'm not mistaken the trigger right now is about Four and a half, five pounds. I mean, that's not super light, not super heavy. Um, but like I said, we took out the creep. So when you pull it, it usually on a standard AR trigger, when you pull it, it goes back. The hammer does, then it goes off. Okay. We're taking out that backward motion, so it it just basically goes. Okay. Um, right. So, so now, do you so that so this hammer that you're saying you guys um, do you provide that already, or is that an yeah, extra thing? Hammer new spring. New, new, uh, new pin for the hammer that has a C clip on it. Okay, so so that comes when you get the upper, or correct? correct. Okay. correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so do a lot of people use those, or they, they, you know, does our hammer? It? Yeah, the, when people get that, they have to yeah, use they have it, to right? Use the hammer. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, got to put that in there. Yeah, okay. It's not going to work right if you try to use an AR hammer, and it's just not. It won't cock right. So, right. Okay. All right, we've got a how it's made video up on on the fifty. So I think you were talking about that in there. The trigger we had sucked ass. Laugh it feels like a shotgun. Yeah. So you know. I had also. I you know there's, yeah, there's yeah, another yeah. there's another thing on triggers too. I can't make them too light, or you know people are going to set it off when they do things <laughs> when they yeah. when they're not expecting it, and you know it's just kind of liability yeah so that yeah there's a certain level of liability there Tyvin show says you can write it off as an entertainment so I encourage if that's really? true I'm not a tax accountant or anything like that but if that's true I encourage everyone to hit up the patreon it's patreon slash Hank strange on a you regular know. and hard basis <laughs> yes exactly you know we do appreciate it this you is know, more funny than uh, going to see a Tom Hanks. I mean, a Tom uh, <laughs> Tom what's his face movie anyway so you know, come on. Who? oh yeah yeah exactly <laughs> we, we don't jump we're not we're not <laughs> jumping from building the building and stuff like that but oh oh you're talking about uh tom cruise. impossible dude yeah yeah you're talking about tom cruise yeah tom cruise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah absolutely um so do you have any other guns do you have any other guns uh, there i have other guns i don't have them all out um so you know oh, okay. the hardest part of this whole thing is putting everything away when we get done talking yeah so i guess i could show you know i, I wanted oh, to hey, guess what i ordered you want to know what, what i ordered you, what if anybody else is an rpg fan centerfire has uh RPG twos for sale right now. Really? Yeah, which is the rocket propelled grenade yeah. launcher. Yeah. Um, yeah. What what do you mean for sale? Like what's the price? What price are we talking? Um one forty nine. Okay. Um, and that's, is that that's, the whole thing or is that an attachment that goes on your AR? That's the you know typical put on your shoulder launcher. Oh, okay. Um, but it doesn't come with a projectile. You have to get your own projectile. But yeah, I'm just gonna show off this SRS again. It's really cool. 
I mean, that's a small package right there, man. So how long? Uh, is, how long is a barrel? Uh, it doesn't look uh, like it's that. It's a bullpup, so this is probably like a sixteen. I mean, you know, in your in your in your uh, your daily carry stuff, you don't have a tape measure. Come on. Oh man, you you gotta go there, are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm just walking around with a tape measure. Well, you never you know, because know, you know? I, I don't need to measure the schlong, okay? Well, I already know it's many. Maybe maybe, maybe right. some guys go fishing all the time. They gotta they gotta stay legal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. But this is nice, man. Yeah. I like this SRS. We need to we need to shoot this. We need to bust a cap. Yeah, obviously we need some optics. We gotta put some optics on it. Oh, here I got I got one for you for all the other people watching here. From the shelf of Mr. Keller, what is this for your what? audience? Tell oh, hold on a second. Let me lock it. What the hell is that? That's some kind of bolt. Well, I'm not saying nothing. Um, what the hell would that be for? Well, huh. I don't know, man. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get that thing up. In okay, the let's see if anyone knows what that is. It's some kind of weird gun. Is it for a bullpup? I ain't saying. I ain't giving is it no for a hint. pistol? <laughs> I'll say no. It ain't for a pistol. Okay. Look how big it is. It ain't for no mm. damn pistol now. What are we saying um, here? What do we got here? Tyvon Show. No tape measure. I carry one. Tyvin says he carries a tape measure. What's wrong? With okay, Tyvin. <laughs> <laughs> He's a truck driver. He has to have one all yeah, the time. I guess, yeah. um, uh, you're close. I don't know. Axes, you're close, but I'm no list. cigar. I need more. <laughs> I need to be more. Uh, Caseless round, crazy firing pin. <laughs> nope. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the heck that is. Are we given yet? PS90? Nope. Not Trowned. Um Oh, wait, 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 wait. What'd you say? Trowned? Trowned. Bingo. Okay, that's Chris B. Yeah, Chris bingo. B. bingo. Bingo, Chris bingo. Chris B figured it out. What the heck is a trowned? 50 caliber. It was an idea to have it, um, the 50 caliber round inside this plastic case. They called it a trown. Oh, okay. So what does Chris B get for that? Because that was pretty. I mean, he he's got to get something. You got to get something for that you gotta, thing. You got to hook Chris B up with something. Uh, I say another Safety Harbor T-shirt. Uh, sure, sure. There you go. Okay. No Let worries. us know what your size is, Chris B. Do we want to you safety? Do we wanna, See, Hank Strange is fighting for you. Do you want to keep sure doing uh, uh, <laughs> what? Do you want to keep doing cartridge guessing game? <laughs> um, do you have more shirts to give away? <laughs> oh, well. Uh, uh, okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, this is a U.S. optics on here, man. That's oh, that's wrong. oh, that shit yeah. costs more than the yeah, yeah. That it's probably costs... half the price of the gun. Like this hell, hell. <laughs> well, how much does the Nemo cost? I mean, I don't. Know. Um, I think this Nemo is probably somewhere. Okay north of uh five thousand dollars okay well that that u.s optic scope is probably close to three so yeah um, yeah it's probably closer to like seven or something like that but it's yeah. it's so gorgeous this is like a beautiful beautiful yeah you know and I, and not as heavy as you think as you would think it would be right. you know from uh you know obviously it's got some girth but this is like a beautiful beautiful rifle we got to shoot that too man we got lots of shooting that we're yeah. supposed to be doing 300 win mag though that's some uh, that's some uh, pricey shooting that makes 50 yeah. cal look cheap sometimes. um yeah i will that day i will pick up the 300 win mag from big daddy guns uh, okay. <laughs> a thing, huh? yeah you'll hear us in the in the video uh 904 says it's close to like eight grand uh you will hear us in the video <laughs> saying thank you for this round <laughs> Every single round, we'll have to go, and this round is dedicated to Big Daddy Guns. <laughs> Put this it there. Is by Big Daddy Guns. There's going to be some serious reloading after that. <laughs> Your source for guns in Gainesville. Yeah. I get my, my SHOT Show voice on here. Welcome to the 2018 SHOT Show. Yeah, I, um, I'm glad it's getting cooler, man. So, you know, as the weather... You know, cooler. We're headed in the direction. I mean, of it. it's not cooler, but I'm saying we're headed <laughs> in the di we're headed in the direction of it getting cooler. No, you you, you climb into that Saddam Hussein um, time warp <laughs> thingy or something. What are you? Doing? No, I'm just saying we're headed in the direction, man. We're oh, like okay. in the middle of August already. Kids have gone back to school. 
It yeah. should start beginning. It's not it's not getting cooler, but the other day I woke up in the morning and it was like nice and cool in the morning. I was like, oh. Yeah, it's just been a couple days like that, but then it just gets hot as all. Maybe not day. where you're at, but over here we're going to probably get cooler before you. You're like. Yeah, you might get a little bit before us. Yeah, yeah you're three hours south of me. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah all I'll right, go. here. Uh -oh. Okay, here's some more gun trivia for you um, aficionados out there. Um, at least the oh ones boy. that think they're aficionados, anyways. Um, okay, let's see what you got. Uh, well, winter, winter is coming. Who says that? Uh, well, it Mike always says is. winter is coming. No, that's a. Uh, you probably don't know this, but that's a Game of Thrones reference. Oh, okay. I yeah. Don't. At this point, actually, winter is here. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I don't know if I should even explain Game of Thrones to you. Nah, save it for later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. What is this now? Oh, you know something? I got the I got the thing that goes in this. Pardon my yarn shirt there. Ah, here we go. So, Crispy says he will wear the shirt in a video and do a shout out. Oh, what the hell? Well, this is fifty cal, but it's fifty cal. What? Is that explosive or something or tracer? Uh, what yeah, is well, it? Well, one part of it you just said, right? Tracer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what does all this go to? Uh, mm. oh, let me give you some more hints here. This fits in here, like that. Okay. okay. Uh huh. And then this is a big old magazine. Okay. That holds that round that fits into this thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, B H X O B says looks like a massive Dardic tround. I don't even know if that's real. <laughs> and some gun well, says tank, t some guns says tank gewehr. Someone says fifty Kurtz. Um, some gun says twelve point seven. Um no, not really. I mean, yeah, yes and no. It is twelve point seven, but it's not not Russian. No. Let me take it out again. So Got this magazine. Uh, you know something? Let's see here. Let's see what else I got here. You got this little round here, which is 50 caliber, by the way. Mm -hmm. But 50 caliber what? Um, and you said it's not 50 Kurtz? No. Or Kurtz? Or no, Kurtz? I, don't, I don't Kurtz? think there is a 50 Kurtz. Not that I know uh, of. Um, do I have a Brett man here? Oh, you know what I have here? Someone says 762-54R case cut and necked for 50 cal. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, I'll, what I'll is that? This is, what? A, this is the um, 50 spotter tracer round that they used in the um, coaxial with the recoilless rifles. So okay. that is a, that yellow and orange tip is, like you said, tracer and spotter. When it hits, it has like a yellow puff of powder. Mm -hmm. This is the magazine for the spotter tracer um, gun, which is like a semi-auto that they mount on the on the record. They used to mount on the recoilless rifle, and they'd fire that little round, and it simulates the travel of the recoilless rifle round. So, um, why did my screen go black over here? Um, well, I got a red light going on. What the heck? Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know what. I, I, I plug my. That's on my second PC here. But uh, um, yeah. So this is the magazine for a spotter tracer gun. Um, and then this mag, I'm just going to try to pull out. It's actually a Barrett mag. So that was mounted where? On a tank? Uh... Um, a recoilless rifle, which might be mounted on a on um, on a separate tripod, or it could have been mounted on a. Um, uh, they had a they had a uh, a tracked vehicle vehicle called a, a Antos that had like six recoilless rifles, six or eight recoilless rifles mounted. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty badass. <laughs> um, this is a Barrett mag here, so, uh, and you can see the difference between the, the size of the of the rounds. Okay. So you have a Barrett mag. Does that mean you have a Barrett? No, not really. Okay. Just, I just like, starting I, slow, getting the mag first. Well, I you know I, I make stuff, so I had I wanted to see how things were made, so mm -hmm. I got a Barrett mag so I could kind of. For the library, so you can see how that little spotter tracer round fits in there. Okay. This versus a full-on fifty round, which is um, come on. Yeah. So uh, 
What was it? I, some gun says M one hundred six recoilless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Correct. Correct. Bingo. Bingo. Um, yeah. So what's going on here? Oh, had to hit the button again. Oh, there we go. Now I have. I brought this up here. I just. I just. This is a. This is a whole lot of twenty two long rifle fun. For um, it's called a beehive. Okay. For a forty millimeter. So basically, that has all every one every one of those holes holds a twenty-two long rifle round. Mm -hmm. So when you drop that in your forty millimeter and you fire it, you have a whole bunch of twenty-two long rifle coming all out the same at, at one time. <laughs> a whole bunch, it's like a twenty-two blunderbuss. So that's why they call it a beehive. Yeah. Um, I picked it up just so I could have it. It's it's not um. In itself, right, like like it sits, it's not restricted until you stick it into a into a forty millimeter gun, but um, or a forty millimeter launcher, but yeah, it's kind of like that. I don't know if you can see the. It's hard to see, but yeah. Okay, so you just drop your twenty twos in there. You and drop the twenty two rounds in there, and then there's a you put a you put a regular primer in the back here, and when that regular primer goes off, it pushes up against the the striker part of the and hits all those 22 rounds all at the same time yeah and that's cool. called a 22 beehive huh yeah. well i call it like a beehive yeah that's one of, that's one of the things i call it yeah so it, do they have other calibers of this beehive type situation not that i'm aware <laughs> of uh oh, okay it could be but I, you know i only know about this one so um like i said i don't know everything that's for sure um, if somebody else knows something better let me know but um, yeah, just some of the stuff I collect. Yeah, no, I think that's cool. I think we went through a bunch of gun porn. I don't know if there's any questions out there. I think folks are just enjoying the uh, gun porn. Um, someone, if you, uh, uh, hey, if anybody out there has any recordless rifle parts that are legal, of course, um, like any demilled parts or something, I'd be interested to know because I always wanted to put together a dummy recordless. So, or okay. if you have if you have stuff that's well, anyways, if you have recordless rifle parts, let me know. Yeah, so hit up Walter on uh, what's like social through social media or something. So yeah. Fran Hayes wants to know Franz Hayes, excuse me, Franz Hayes, have you ever shot a Lottie twenty millimeter? <laughs> Not yet, but I, you don't you have something? I have like one. That? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, Where I, is that bad boy? I've just got to finish putting it together. Um, Where is it? Oh. Uh, pull it up here. I'm gonna lock. Make, I'm gonna lock you in. Yeah. Yeah. We're making you do work. Give me a. Give me a second here. Let me uh, let me pull that out there so I can talk when I'm out here. Okay, you want to see the? Oh man, it's buried. That's, That's all right. right. Just That's consider this your cardio. cardio. Well, let me let's just do this here. Let me just do this over here like this. Let's see here. Oh, here's the <laughs> here's the barrel for it. I don't want to drop Holy. this on my toe right out of the hospital. Holy jeez. Look at that. Hold it up to the you're gonna probably have to step back a little bit to hold that up to the camera. Don't destroy the computer in the process. Wow. Look at that. Can you imagine looking down the barrel of that? <laughs> oh man, this is uh, like whoever you point that at is gonna have total barrel envy. <laughs> I've got to finish so fitting. That's just the barrel. A barrel. <laughs> and then where's the Lottie? Where's the Lottie? Where's the, where's the rest of it? It's it's uh, it's covered up, right? It's on the floor here, kind of buried. So yeah. I, Mike Bryant says that's a friggin' wizard staff. <laughs> <laughs> Some gun says holy shit. <laughs> so when you get holy shit from the from the <laughs> from the friggin' gunsmith, then that's good. You did good. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a beast. Um, I've got to finish fitting the barrel to the receiver, and then um. Once that's done, you gotta drill the hole for the gas port, and and then it'll be time for test firing. So yeah, I don't think that muzzle device is big enough. Um, <laughs> I think you gotta upgrade that muzzle device and make it. Well, bigger. the bigger the better on a twenty millimeter. <laughs> that's just that's like ridiculous, man. Actually, the, the original awesome. the original muzzle brake is really not that efficient on a Melati. So um, I I wanna I wanna be able to um, reduce the recoil as much as possible. So 
Mm. Yeah, <laughs> there's lots of there's lots of comments just popping up <laughs> in the thing about it right now. Here, you want me to? I'll read some for you. Uh, Boss Hog said the bad word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mike Bryan said they're going to have a barrel movement. <laughs> I'll have a barrel movement for sure after that thing. Yeah. Chris B says, you shall not pass. That's from Lord of the Rings. I don't know if you understand that. I know that. I know that. Uh, looks like a cinder block. That's from MP422 owns. Um, some gun says Walter has a bigger barrel than all of us. He's jealous. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how many rounds in the mag, Walter? Else? Ten. There's okay, actually 10. 10. So yeah. stay yeah. tuned. At some point, I will do a mag dump on it too. Which Okay. So you're not pulling out the rest of the lottie at this point? No, it's, it's underneath it's too much work. stuff. Here, too much work too much work i understand i get it we've seen we've seen a lot we should probably end on that you know well, we could i mean you know, yeah, we should probably end on this we've been doing it for like about an hour it's been fun yeah yeah it's been yeah it's, been, think, all, it's been all guns too no uh no yeah. other stuff so yeah and i think we we avoided any profanities tonight right no we didn't mostly yes yeah <laughs> we mostly and we avoided most of the politics and stuff like that we didn't get political um you know, yeah, we need to take a break from that. Oh, should we, should we get a little bit political? A little bit political before we go. Look at the hole in that thing. Oh, geez. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's a big old hole in that thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> That's a monster, man. You got to put this thing together. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think you know this one's gonna. This one might have to. We might have to terminate a running car engine with this thing. Yeah. Now you know I'm gonna have to ask this on behalf of myself and Boss Hog. Are you gonna make this gun full auto? No. <laughs> okay, I just just had to ask. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's great, man. We, you know what? I, I think we should call it before wait, we wait, get. What we say with Tyvin? The Tyvin show, not the bag of dicks. Laugh out loud. Okay. Yeah, that's Tyvin show that brought that up, not me. <laughs> finger in the hole. What, I yes. Was... Uh, MP four twenty two own says uh, one and one and four twist. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, Chris B wants to see you put your finger in the hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm, 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 you know, I'm slightly aroused. Okay. Oh, you now you take, you take. Oh, that just unthreads. Huh? Cinder block off. Let's see. Yeah, that's... Oh, turn, twist, spin, wheel, spin. Um, yeah. I'd like to see the wrench that you use when you tighten that down. Let's see if you can, let me see. If, I'm gonna hold it up. See if you can see the rifling in the barrel. Okay. It's pretty aggressive. Don't break the camera. Let's see here. Come down a little. Come down a little. Come down a little. We got to get some light. Be oh, okay. Hold it right there. No. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel, but not the rifling. Oh, you know what? Shine the light in there. <laughs> Shine the light. <laughs> Put the light. Some light. Oh, Aziz. Aziz light. <laughs> Oh. Put the light. <laughs> we need light. Uh, hang on a second. God dang it. This is hard. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, don't hurt yourself, Walter. Oh. And more importantly, don't the, break any equipment. Let me, a, let me reach for a... <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. So now you got... Yeah, okay. Put the light in. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get... You're, you're going to need assistance with this, putting this. Oh, I can see... Uh, Go back. Go, yeah, I can see the rifling a little bit. Yeah, that's some serious treads on that. Treads, yeah, it's that tread. Yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah, we I can see it a little bit on yeah in the end. Wow. Yeah. yeah see, anyway. If you had an EDC flashlight, you could just put it in one end. And if I had two more arms, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, listen, that's good enough, man. Here, why don't you tell the people who you are and what you've been up to, you know, so that they can uh, check out your stuff. Yep, Walter. From Safety Harbor Firearms, um, of course, you know we're doing the 50 cal uppers and AOW shotguns and PDW style stocks, stuff like that. Yeah, um, we do I, this I, kind I, of crazy gun stuff every day. <laughs> actually, every day it's not crazy. Yeah. Um, only only at night here with you. Um, yeah, absolutely. You know that's that's what makes it fun, man. You know we got yeah, yeah, listen. We haven't we haven't shown off guns in a while. I figured tonight will be a good night to just show off some yeah, guns. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to. I got I got another uh, another. I got some other stuff to pull out that I probably haven't had out in a while, which 
we can have some fun talking about yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll do that. So make sure you check out Safety Harbor Firearms, right? You're on uh, Facebook, Instagram, all, yep. Twitter. Yep. Mower Death, if you uh, if you like shooting and running lawnmowers, Mower Death. Yep. That's the website. And, um, you know, give some support to Walter so he can keep building these badass guns. Yeah. <laughs> What can I tell you? <laughs> All right. So here and then now here's the thing. So I'm good. What I'm going to do is thank everyone that's watching, commenting. Um, you know, you people were helping us out tonight, giving us lots of information, keeping us going. It's been a fun show. So I want to thank all you guys. I want to thank everyone that sponsors the channel. That includes Walter from Safety Harbor Firearms. That's how we're able to do all the fun stuff that we're that we do. Rand CLP, Andrews Custom Leather, and of course, Big Daddy Guns. And to never to be forgotten, the folks who support us on Patreon, we're Patreon slash Hank Strange, and we appreciate that support. Absolutely. Um, you know, we will see you guys tomorrow. We'll be back making trouble. Hopefully. Yeah. Doing it, doing it, and doing it. <laughs> you know how we end it, Walter, right? Yep. Peace, peace out. Peace, 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 peace. Wow.